Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to be more conscious creative leaders through the age of human disruption. My name is Carly and in this video I want to answer kind of one of the central questions which is what does it mean to thrive in disruption? Am I saying that the whole world is crashing down and and you're off on some $10 million yacht having cocktails? No. That's not the kind of thriving that I'm talking about, nor would I say that that's necessarily thriving. So what does it mean to thrive in disruption? The best way that I can kind of illustrate this concept is to say, have you, have you ever seen a grizzly bear? And more importantly, do you know what to do if you see a grizzly bear? I did not. The first time that I saw what to do when you see a grizzly bear, I was on a road trip about 15 years ago with a friend. A road trip, mind you, where everything that could possibly go wrong had started to go wrong. And we show up in Yellowstone Park uh, to, you know, just go hiking, whatever, do the thing at Yellowstone Park. And all of a sudden I see all of these signs saying, beware of the grizzly bears, beware of the grizzly bears. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know what to do if I see a grizzly bear. Well, they did have the three steps of what to do if you see a grizzly bear. And uh, they are essentially, don't scream, don't move, and lay down and play dead. Well, if I hadn't brought to my awareness these three steps. I'll tell you, if I saw a grizzly bear, I would have been long, long gone dead meat. I never saw a grizzly bear, fortunately. But I have applied this with many other places, too many other aspects of life. And one is to the concept of a grizzly bear, right? A disruptive event something that makes you want to, something that makes you scared. And from that state of fear, you react from a state of fear. I won't say survival, uh, survival instincts because I actually would put those in a slightly different category. I'm talking about fear response. And fear response means that we are in whatever our trauma patterns are, Fear response means that we get, you know, that we're paralyzed. Fear response means that we go straight into the emotional trigger, right? We get hit by an emotion and then we cannot control ourselves. We cannot slow down. Everything goes into fast motion and everything is urgent. And all of a sudden we can no longer see appropriately what is happening in front of us. We cannot connect with that grizzly bear and calm ourselves down and know what to do. So when I speak of thriving and disruption, I'm speaking about how to transcend those impulses, how to transcend our fear, our, our fear uh, triggers, and our emotional states, to be able to work our emotional states in a healthy way, to be able to transcend that fear impulse, and be able to truly face a grizzly bear. Because the age of disruption, the age that we are currently in, will be an age of many, many grizzly bears. Disruption is not new to, to any of us. It's not new to mankind. Whether it's a positive, a seemingly positive event, or a seemingly negative event, whether it's birth, it's death, it's economic recession, it's war, it's pandemic, it's new technology that changes the very way of our being, an illness, whatever, whatever the, the shocking event is, this large, scary event that disrupts our way of being, our way of perceiving ourselves, our way of perceiving the world around us, no matter what that event is, it's not new in the way that mankind, that as individuals we've experienced these things and, and generally humanity has gone through these um, 
these large disruptive events many times before. But what is very different is how fast and how intense these events are going to, are already, and will continue to come. Or at least our perception of them coming quickly will be. So the the intensity, right, when you take what used to be one or two, you know, major disruptive events collectively and multiple events for an individual or a few, let's not say multiple, but a few, small events for an individual that are disruptive. And all of a sudden you start to condense that down to where we have, you know, one every decade, now one every five years, now one every three years. Now it's nonstop. So, and it's from all fronts. So this is an immense amount of pressure, an immense amount of uh, triggering, right? And it is many grizzly bears. So what it means to thrive in disruption is that we are feeling capable and able to face the grizzly bears, to transcend those lower responses, and even better, to alchemize them and work them into higher responses and opportunities to grow as individuals, to evolve, as humanity to evolve into something that is better, because that is always the opportunity. That is the true uh, beauty of disruption. When we allow it to be that, when we allow ourselves to experience disruption in that way, we have incredible power to transform the event into something that truly moves our evolution forward in a healthy direction. And for me, that is thriving. For me, thriving is being able to face a grizzly bear. Thriving is being able to face many grizzly bears. To be able to understand to be able to work through your lower emotional responses and your fear responses, and to be able to act, to use the events as opportunities to, to learn, to evolve, and to become higher and more creative and more connected leaders for ourselves and for each other through this time. So that is what I call thriving in disruption. And I will have another video coming out next week on one of the key ways that we look at doing that, which is conscious, creative, um, conscious alchemy. Alchemy is not new by any means, but I have a little, a few, five steps that I believe if you can practice these five steps every day in every moment in life, particularly, when the grizzly bear comes, then you will be able to thrive and you will help lead and influence and empower others to thrive through this crazy, beautiful, challenging time that we are in. Much love and strength, everyone.